So this will be your review for your second quarter examination. Iisa-isay natin sila. So number one, you are a parent and have a daughter who will soon turn 18 in her birthday. To show your love and support to your daughter, you plan to give her a debut celebrating her 18th birthday. Create a budget plan for your daughter's debut. So plan A will be 50 guests and plan B will be 150 guests. So basically, ang gagawin nyo lang dito is magbabudget kayo. So you can be idealistic or you can either be a realistic. So kung feeling nyo, balang araw, yayaman kayo and you can provide everything uh, sa magiging pamilya nyo, sa magiging anak nyo. Go for a high budget. Pero kung feeling nyo naman, asakto lang yung magiging boy mo, yung para pa lang, uh, simple lang, makaraos lang araw-araw, ganun. You can be realistic or pwede yung babaan yung budget nyo. Dito pala sa budget plan, pwede nyo kayong gumamit ng mga uh, totoong lugar dito sa Santiago. For example, ang venue nyo is dyan sa Spring Garden o kaya sa Villa Alca. You can, yeah, you can uh, do that one. Pero kung gusto nyo yung mas bongga, pwede naman sa yung mga 5-star hotel sa Manila, kung feeling nyo kaya nyo, balang araw, mga ganang ganang. So, uh, for example, ng budget plan, for, of course, hindi, mo, hindi pwede mawala dyan yung uh, venue. Magkano yung ilalaan yung budget dyan? For 50 guests, for example, ang venue nyo is uh, sa Villa Alca. Ewan ko kung magkano dun, pero you can have your uh, research also kung magkano sa mga venue. For example, 10,000. Yeah, yung magiging, sa inyo yung venue. Um, ano, ano pa ang kailangan sa pag-budget sa debut? Ano yung mga kailangan? Of course, nandiyan yung uh, pagkain, food, sabi mo na catering. Kasama na dyan yung pagkain. Sa catering naman, uh, kung gusto mo naman medyo sakto-sakto lang, siguro uh, 150 per, per head or per people. 150 per person. Yan, uh, ganun lang yung gagawin niya sa pagbabudget or sa plan A, 50 guests. Ano pa ang kailangan? Of course, nandiyan yung 18 rows. Rows, yung gown niya. Gown. Ah, souvenir. Rows, the gown, the souvenir. Gusto mong hiwala yung cake. Siyempre, may, dapat may cake yan. Yung mga ganun, the, the, the decor, something like that. So, kayo na ang bahalang... Ay nang bahalang um, mag-consider ng mga things na kailangan nyo. Same as true with plan B. Of course, dito sa catering, uh, syempre, computein mo kung magkano yan. Kung meron kang 50 guests, that's 150 times 50, yung total. Then, of course, souvenir. For example, yung souvenir mo, um, pwedeng 50 pesos per person. Ano yung, ano yung souvenir mo na yun? O yung cake. Then, yung total. Ganun lang. Then, you just answer the following questions. What mathematical concept can you conclude in this, in this situation? Of course, hindi ko pwede sabihin yung sagot. Kayong bahala mag-isip kung anong concept ang ginamit dyan. And what equation did you use to support that concept? Kayo din ulit ang bahalang mag-isip dyan sa sagot na yan. And uh, the last question for the number one. If you will have a daughter in the future, would you give her a debut? What are the actions that you're going to take to achieve that plan? So basically, um, valuing lang to. If you can, or what are the things that you should do to achieve yung goal mo? Especially kung ide idealistic ka. Especially kung ang budget mo aabot siguro ng five, kalahating million. Sabi mo na, isang billion kung sobrang yaman mo. Or uh, more. Yeah, that will be your number one. So, number two naman, uh, I have this uh, similar example sa number two. The number of weeks that it takes a worker to construct a highway varies directly as the length of the highway and inversely as the number of workers. If it takes 21 days for 75 workers to construct a 525 meters of highway, how many workers would it take to construct a 1,500 meters of highway in 50 days? 
so basically a variation first thing you should do is to create or to get the formula that you're going to use for this problem since a variation siya ang mga code natin pag sinabi mong direct uh, ibig sabihin nun multiplication pag sinabi mong inverse it means division pag sinabi mong jointly ibig sabihin nun uh, multiplication and pag nakita mo yung salitang varies that's equals to k so uh, let's start with this one the number of workers syempre we would uh, set variables or we will give variables the number of the number of weeks pala i should say so the number of weeks since ang tinutukoy dito is yung time we can say that this is t uh, that it takes so uh, that it takes a worker to construct a highway varies so pag nakita mo na yung varies na yun uh, automatic that's equals to k na so you have this one varies is equals to k equals to k varies directly pag sinabi mo directly we will multiply uh, you have this one again varies directly as the length of the highway since yung tinutukoy dito pwede niya ating sabihin yung length ng highway is letter L inversely is division and the number of workers sabihin na natin W so pag samasamahin mo lahat yun you have your formula T now the number of the number of weeks varies equals to k. Directly means a uh, multiplication, so you have to multiply it by this one length of the highway letter L. Kaya ang bahala kung anong variable yung gagamitin yon. And inversely as the number of workers, so pag sinabi mong inversely that's W. So you have T is equal to, to k L over W. Now, since you have your formula, ano nang gagawin mo dyan? Substitute. If it takes 21 days for 75 workers to construct a 525 meters of highway, and how many workers, workers yun, with this, how many workers would it take to construct 1,500 of meters of highway in 50 days? Now, 21, day, 21 days, obviously it's time. You have 21, is equal now to K. One, uh, for 75 workers, that's your worker, so yung W yun, so dito yung 75. Then you have uh, 525 meters of highway, so dito siya, 5, 2, 5. Then, simplify. Dito pag disable yung fraction, you can simplify muna. Kung hindi naman sila pwedeng i-simplify, pwedeng cross multiply agad. Pero in this case, pwede silang i-simplify. So that's 525 over 75, 7 I think. So 7k yan, copy yun, 21. Then divide both side by 7. Since ang una natin nga hanapin is yung value ng k. So you have this one. k now is equal to? 21 over 7 is 3. So, have your value of K. Next one, hanapin mo na yung uh, tinatanong dito. How many workers would it take to construct a 1,500 meters of highway in 50 days? So, ano yung hinahanap? Ano yung tinatanong? Is it at the time? Is it the length? Is it the length? Or is it the worker? So, in this case, uh, worker ang hinahanap. So, W yung missing. Same formula yung gagamitin. You have this one, 150 meters of highway, that's your length, 50 days, obviously that's your time. Ang nawawala is yung W. So substitute, you have your time is 50 days, 50 now is equal to, your value of K is 3. Then length of your highway is 1,500, so that's multiplied by 1,500 over W, so yung nawawala. Cross multiply, so that's 50W is equal now to 3 times 1,500 is 4,500. Dividing both sides by 50. Cancel. W now is equal to 
It's 4,500 divided by 50. You have 90. So, ang conclusion mo dyan, uh, how many workers it would take 90 90 workers to construct So your conclusion would be it would take 90 workers to construct a 1,500 meters of highway in 50 days. So this will be uh, a similar question to your, the problem number 2 sa exam nyo. Next. Number 3 naman, you have the tsunami. Tsunamis. Tsunamis are ocean waves produced by earthquakes or underwater volcanic eruptions. The speed of the tsunami as it approaches the land is a function of the depth of the water and is approximated by the formula S is equal to 3 the square root of D in which D represents the depth of the water in meters and S represents the speed of the tsunami in meters per second so obviously what you're going to do here is you just substitute the values then hanapin nyo lang yung value ng S uh, given na dyan yung table I assume nakikita nyo yung table na ganyan. Tapos dito yung D. Ito yung S. So given naman na yung mga details dyan, you just substitute, use the formula S is equal to 3 the square root of D. O use all the resources in your house. Kung meron kayo, huwag nyo na pahirapan yung sarili nyo. You can use your calculator if you want. Then, explain nyo lang what happens to the graph. Ano yung na-observe nyo sa graph? Yun lang yung uh, number 3. Next. Next, number 4. Suppose you are solving the radical equation. Nandun yung equation nyo for, but for this one, I will use square root of x plus 8 is equal to 16. And you begin by squaring both sides. What is the resulting uh, equation? Have you eliminated the radical from the equation? If not, what should have been your first step? Play nyo lang kung paano nyo kukunin yung value na x. So sabi doon, sinimulan yung equation by squaring both sides. Is that correct? Yes or no? Square. Square mo yan, square mo yan. Is my process correct? Tama ba tong, uh, e tama tama ba tong pagka-solve ko dito sa equation na to? Is there any way para ma-solve yung value na x? Explain nyo lang kung ano yung magiging first step nyo. Kung agree kayo dyan, o di go. Pero kung hindi kayo agree, and I hope hindi kayo agree, ano yung magiging first step na equation na to? So you have square root of x plus 8 is equal to 16. Ano yung first step? So dito sa number 5, we have a similar equation dun sa problem sa exam nyo. Here I have x is equal to square root of 14 plus the square root of 1 plus the square root of 9. Ngayon, ang gagawin nyo dito, uh, magsisimula ka sa pinakaloob. So, you will start sa kanya, kay square root of 9. So, pag isasolve mo to, you have, kopyahin uh, ko para hindi mali, steps by step ko. 14 plus square root of, you have square root of 9, is equal to 3. So, that's 1 plus 3. Ngayon, solve mo yung 1 plus 3. You have square root of uh, 1 plus 3 is 4. So, yung square root of 4 plus pala yan, square root of 4 is 2. So, that's 14 plus 2. 14 plus 2, you have 16. Anong square root of 16? Ang sagot mo now is x is equal to 4. So, yun lang yung gagawin nyo dito. Magsisimula kayo sa pinakaloob. Simulan nyo sa pinakadulo. So, that's square root of 9. That's 3. Plus 1. So, that's 3 plus 1. 4. And square root of 4 is equal to 2. Then, 14 plus 2 is 16. And square root of 16 is equal to 4. Depende na lang kung meron pang, uh, kung pwede nyo pang isimplify. That will be your final answer. Next. So, number six. I have a similar 
uh, expression. To simplify 14 over 3 square root of 2, you should multiply the numerator and the denominator by 3 square root of 2 or by just square root of 3. So, ano yung tama dun? Will you obtain the same result either way? If so, which method do you prefer? Ngayon dito, what, um, to solve this one, ano ba yung tama? Diba when we, when we rationalize, if you're reading your module, pag nagra-rationalize kasi tayo, for example, 3 over square root of 2. Ngayon, bawal ang radical sa denominator. So, we remove the radical. How? Rationalization. Ang, ang rationalization is you multiply the numerator and the denominator by the denominator. So, kung ano yung denominator mo, multiply mo lang siya sa numerator tapos sa denominator. So, dito, multiply mo lang 3 square root of 2, that's 3 square root of 2. And square root of 2 times square root of 2. Actually, ang sagot dito, itong index ni, I mean index, itong nasa loob na to, you have square root of 4, pag isi-simplify mo yan, that's 3 square root of 2 over square root of 4 is equal to 2. Ganyan ang magra-rationalize. Ngayon, pag magra-rationalize ka ba dito, are you going to use square root of 2 lang? Or, are you going to use 14 over 3 over 2? Or, are you going to use 3 square root of 2 over 3 square root of 2? Nyan. Uh, will you obtain will you obtain the same uh, answer kapag uh, square root of 2 tsaka 3 square root of 2 yung ginamit mo? Kung pareha sila ng sagot, ano yung mas prefer mo? Explain mo lang siya. Uh, if you don't know ang pag uh, mo multiply nito, for example, 3 times 2 square root of 3 Ang pag multiply niyan, yung may whole number tas may radical, you have 3 times 2, 6 square root of 3. So basically, whole number to whole number, radical to radical, or yung may square root na symbol. Ganyan. So yun, you just explain kung ano yung uh, mas prefer nyo, ano yung mas tama. Next. Number 7 naman, simplify 1 raised to 0 plus 2 raised to 0 plus 3 raised to 0 and so on and so on. Then as at the end, anon uh, is times 0. Ngayon, in your 0 and negative exponent, palala ko lang, every number raised by 0 is equal to 1. Kahit 1 million pa yan, for example, uh, x is raised to 0, see so that's equal to 1. 100 raised to 0. Is equal to 1. Lahat ng number raised by 0 is equal to 1. Now, it's just a matter of addition and multiplication. And remember, dito sa number 7, your M does, which stands for multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Alalahanin yan, hindi yung basta add lang ng add, basta multiply lang ng multiply. Meron tayong tinatawag na rule of MDAS. Now, if you're not familiar kay MDAS, for example, you have 2 plus 3 plus 4 times 2. Ano magiging sagot dyan? Is it 2 plus 3, 7 plus 4? You have uh, 11 times 2, 22. Is it 22? Ang sagot dito, from left to right, wrong. Meron tayong tinatawag na MDAS. Dapat sundin natin yung rule ng MDAS. Which states that multiplication muna bago kay addition. So in this case, 22 is a wrong. 4 times 2 muna. So that's 4 times 2, 8. Meron kang plus 3, plus 2. You have 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 8 is equal now to... 13. 13 is the correct answer kahit i-calculator nyo pa yan. Next! Now, number 8. Uh, I have a similar equation. Explain the, why the expression this one, this expression negative 2 raised to 3 over 2 cannot be evaluated or cannot be simplified. Uh, one way to if an expression 
can be evaluated is by transforming them into radical equation. Which means, etong base mo magiging radicand, eto yung magiging power or exponent, eto yung numerator naman yung index. By radical form, this will become square root of negative 2 raised to 3. Ngayon, bakit siya hindi pwedeng simplify? Explain. Kayo na bahala dyan kung bakit. Nandyan na yung clue, tignan nyo na lang, titigan nyo na lang, kaharap nyo na, explain nyo na lang. If nagbabasa kayo. Kung hindi kayo mag nagbabasa, good luck. <laughs> Next. Na number 9. Papakita ko na. Square root of 11 minus square root of 2. Ang solution dito is square root of 9, that's 11 minus 2, square root of 9 is equal to 3. Is that correct? Do you agree? Kung hindi kayo agree, ano yung dapat na solution dito? Or in the first place, dapat bang may solution? Dapat ba magkaroon ka ng solution sa expression na to? Square root of 11 minus square root of 2. Is it possible for us to subtract two radical um, expressions? Of course, pero ano yung Ano yung mga conditions para makapag-subtract tayo ng mga e radical expression? So, are you agree? A square root of 11 minus square root of 2 is equal to square root of 9. Tapos square root of 9 is equal to 3. Magbasa. Next. Next, number 10. You have 2 raised to negative 2 and negative 2 raised to 2. Are they the same? Yes or no? Yung negative exponent ba parehas? ang process ng pagsosolve sa positive exponent. Kung hindi ka agree, ano ba dapat yung process kapag naging negative yung exponent and ano dapat gagawin mo kapag positive yung exponent? Explain. Next. 